Oh, isn't that adorable? <laughs> There's an architectural term for a oh. building like this. Yes, there is. Super cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love this little bistro table here. And the chairs, the cushions. Must be so lovely to sit there in the evenings. I've got a little architectural dilemma and an observation. I don't know who gets the middle window. <laughs> <laughs> I think you split it and you get three panes each. <laughs> and I'm absolutely loving this really strong green that they've got on the woodwork. I wonder if there's more colour inside. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, this is so beautiful. Kate, look at that golden sofa. Oh, I'm going to check it. Oh. <laughs> People talk about successful use of colour in an interior, they often think of dark blue walls or red sofas or something, but in here there's a really sophisticated, deliberate use of colour, but it's incredibly gentle. Every inch of this room just feels like it's been styled. I'm noticing this open cabinet over here with the books stacked, even that leaning print, I think things like that, they're very intentional and I think a lot of effort has gone into making it look like it's kind of almost accidentally ended up like this. Oh, that's lovely, look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> that big vintage dresser. <gasps> Favourite spot? <laughs> I've got to sit down so I can get the full full effect. From here, I can see these absolutely gorgeous little fluted glass shades on the lights, the flowers on the table, all the stuff hanging up there on those beautiful shaker pegs. Everything is just so exquisite in this home. The fact that everything feels reused or upcycled, it, like this beautiful dining table and the mixed match chairs, it's like the salt and pepper here, it's just those little details that give it that lovely charming cottage core vibe that I just love so much. Oh wow, those tiles. Kate, you're gonna love the colors. <laughs> I know, this is my favourite question to ask you, Anna, but what, what colour would you call this? <laughs> <laughs> you put me on the spot. I just always know you've always got a name for them all. It's green. OK. <laughs> oh, it's just the same kind of lovely tone and quality in the room, but it's really set off, I think, by that stained glass. It's just little details that this building's got pretty plain everywhere, and then you get these popped out little architectural moments. I really like the mixture of metals. You know, people get really obsessed about mm -hmm the sanitary aware, matching the shower screen, matching the shower head. But in here, they've just mixed it up. So the tap is chrome, the shower head is brass, and the shower screen support is black. And I think it really works. It sort of contributes to that, um, oh, this just happened kind of vibe that this home's got. White floorboards. Oh, that bed's really jammed in <laughs> just, here, isn't it? <laughs> just made it. <laughs> I often think uh, when I'm seeing homes, sometimes I think they just seem maybe a bit over stylized, as if they could be in a magazine, you couldn't move anything. Whereas I get the feeling in here I could move things around, you know, I could change those books. Yeah. That's not going to matter, it's fine. Yeah, it feels authentic, I think. That's a view. You know, there's no TVs or radios. You get the feeling that news or stories comes into this home by people talking to each other. Yes, and any music that you listen to is on vinyl. It's very much a kind of analogue home. Do you remember you were wondering about that window in the middle outside? Do you think going through that door might reveal the solution? Oh, goodness. <laughs> There's another room. No. <laughs> oh. How is that even possible? It's such a generous size as well. I had a bit of a moment in this home because I think there's some homes that you think of as homes that you'll happily leave and return to. Whereas I think this is a home that will always welcome you home. Its objective is to throw its door open to you and be grateful you're back into its warm embrace. And that's hard to define why it's like that but it just feels like that to me.